Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use uBlock Origin. So, if you watched my previous video about why you should block third-party content, uh, you'll understand the importance of blocking ads and other um, tracking um, systems on websites simply because they could contain malware and of course obviously they can track you. Um, so I want to demonstrate one of those plugins now. Um, this one's called uBlock Origin. Now first I want to show you what a website looks like without any ad blockers installed. So this is a website and the only reason I'm picking on this website is because it was on a list of one of the most like it was like top 10 um, sites with the most annoying ads or some some one of those lists. So it's cafemom.com. Up here we've got a banner ad. And here's another ad right here. And there's some other like articles, another one there. Um, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Now let's say we want to, you know, visit an article. Like for example, let's say we're going to read this one. All right. So we get this annoying pop-up. And there's going to be an ad here and there's going to be an ad here and there it looks like there's already Now that's that's a uh, first party ad right there. You see, as we scroll down, this whole sidebar is just going to be full of ads. And here's a plug-in for Facebook. You know, so it just, it's a lot of, a lot of nonsense. And it's other websites, too. Like, let's look at Forbes. Now, having a lot of this third-party content can also uh, impact the performance of the website. So, all right, so let's get this out of, out of here for a second. So to install uBlock Origin, it's very simple. In Firefox, you're just going to go to this menu here, go to Add-ons, go to Extensions, and you want to type in uBlock, all one word. Give it a couple seconds here. All right. Now you want to use uBlock Origin. You don't want to use um, uBlock. Uh, this is a there was a fork in the project, and uBlock Origin, from what I understand, is the one that's most current. Yes. So uh, you want the one that's been updated most recently. The original uBlock was updated. Looks like October thirty first. And if you want more information, you can go here. Um, Raymond Hill's the developer, at least on the Firefox version. And you just hit this install button. And you'll know it's installed because you get this little uBlock Origin button right here. So it's similar in Chrome. All you have to do is click this button here, go down to More Tools and Extensions. Down at the bottom is Get More Extensions. And we want to type in uBlock. And you can go ahead and just choose uBlock Origin. And there it is. Now this one's a little different. This is actually by um, the dev's name is Gore Hill. I don't know. It should be the same person, but I've tested this before, and it's the same application. So we're just going to click the Add to Chrome button, and I'll ask you, do you want to add it? You click Yes. It's checking it. Now, granted, you only want to get these add-ins from the official stores for your respective browser. And there it is right there. All right, now I'll explain how it works in a second. Now you notice I didn't um, install it from Microsoft Edge. That's because Microsoft Edge currently does not have, well, let me back up. At the time of this recording, they're piloting uh, the extension now, but it's not fully available yet. So you can get it, but you have to go through some non- um, Microsoft um, 
store links and I really don't want to go there. But anyway, so now it's installed and we'll just, we'll just refresh. Uh, so we'll go back to the original Cafe Mom site here. Now you see these little counters up here. Each of those counters is a domain that's been blocked. So let me explain first what a domain is. So for example, www.cafemom.com, the cafemom.com part is a domain. So this would be the first party domain. This is where all the web content for your website is coming from. Third party content would be another domain. So like I said, it's block 26 domains. On this page alone, it's telling me there are um, up to 25 domains connected here. But you'll notice no ad, no ad, and things look a lot better. So let's go back to that article we were looking at earlier. Okay, so there is this ad, but this, again, this is a first party ad. This is asking you to subscribe to the site. But yeah. Now this is still showing up. And here you can actually choose the, uh, the settings for it. So there's all kinds of settings. Now, if for any for some reason you need to disable it, you can just click this big red power, uh, this big blue power button, and that'll disable it temporarily. Well, not temporarily; it's it's per site. So it blocks by default, and then per site you can you can allow. So uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please put them in the comments below, and uh, stay safe out there.